I like singing. I like dancing. I like trains. Evolution of the railway. In the 18th century, workers in various mining areas in Europe found that loaded wagons moved more easily if the wheels were driven by a rail made of metal plates, as this reduced friction. The lanes for the wagons only served to move the products to the nearest waterway, which at that time was the main form of transport of large volumes. Steam power locomotives were invented in the early 18th. At first they pulled wagons full of coal, and later carriages full of people. A steam locomotive generally burned coal in a furnace or a firebox. The fire heated water in a boiler to make steam. The Rocket One of the most successful early steam locomotives was the Rocket, built by an English engineer called Robert Stephenson in 1829. Rocket won a contest, Rain Hill Trial. Carriages The carriages pulled by Rocket on the Liverpool to Manchester line looked like horse-drawn coaches, but they even had rooftop seats, just like stagecoaches. Early U.S. locomotives. Most 19th century American locomotives had wood-burning engines. Wood didn't produce such a fierce heat as coal, but in America it was much cheaper than coal. Sometimes sparks came out the chimney which often would set fires to forests and grasslands. So they created spark arresters which were fitted to the chimneys to prevent any fires from starting. As the cities grew larger, streets became full by horse carriages and trams. To fix the problem, a railway was built in London. The railway was built underneath the streets and was called the Metropolitan, and it opened in 1863. Everyone was using it, even though the steam made the city polluted and smelly. Electric trains eventually took over by the late 19th century. Electric trains. Engineers developed the first eccentric locomotives in the late 19th century. By the 1930s, they had become very popular. From 1940 to 1960, electric and diesel trains replaced steam powered in many countries. And electric locomotives collected the electricity via the overhead cables. It's expensive to build all the cables, but they are cleaner, faster and more reliable than steam or diesel locomotives. High speed trains. Japan's electric bullet trains began running in Tokyo and Alaska in 1964. They got their name for their noses looking like bullets. They have 12 carriages and can go up to 210 kilometers an hour. They also have overhead cables, which are very expensive to build. World's fastest train. The maglev train service began operating in 2004, with trains reaching a top speed of 431 kilometers an hour, and remains the fastest high-speed service in the world. Maglev, however, was not adopted nationally, and all subsequent expansion features high-speed on conventional tracks and it's located in Shanghai. Putting the maglev into comparison with the underground in London. To put this speed into perspective, the underground tubes in London go at 33 kilometers on average and the maglev at 431. That's much faster, nearly 400 kilometers an hour faster than the tube. Imagine being in the maglev, for me the tube seems to go pretty fast as it is. I think I'd probably pass out going 400 kilometers faster. Now for some interesting facts about trains. Number five, there's an abandoned subway station under City Hall in New York that no train stops at, but you can see passing if you take the number six train. Number four, if someone commits suicide in Japan by jumping onto an oncoming train, then the train company can will sue his or her family for cleanup fees, loss of income and negative publicity brought on by the suicide. Three, Ore trains in Sweden travelling down to the coast generate five times the amount of electricity they use, powering nearby towns and the return trip for other trains. Number two. In 1963, four Princeton students forced a local train to stop by parking a car on the tracks. With a gun loaded with blanks, they got onto the train, picked up four girls as dates, and rode away with them on horseback. And finally, number one. The fight scene on top of the train in Skyfall was actually filmed on top of a real moving train, and Daniel Craig did not use a stunt double.